Hey everyone. So today I'm turning an old hot water tank into a plow for my quad. I'm gonna get started by tearing off all the outer skin of the tank, um, peeling all the insulation, and then we'll get into the cutting process to make the shape for the blade and all that. And then it's gonna be a structure and the mounting plate. So I'm gonna take pictures, maybe some videos through it, just so everybody gets an idea of how it's done. Um, I've done one in the past for an older Big Bear. I sold that and sold the plow with it. So now I've got myself a 2013 Can-Am Outlander 650. Whole different setup, um, but better ground clearance, so this should be a little bit better. Uh, so it's gonna be figuring out how I'm gonna mount it underneath. I've got a bunch of scrap materials laying around the shop. Um, shops of pigsty, like horrible pigsty right now. We had a couple home projects last year on the outside of the house. So uh, things just got piled in the garage. Now that winter's settling in, it's gonna be time to start cleaning it. But this project's gotta happen because the wife says we ain't shoveling like we did the last big storm. So time to get started on this. I'll bring you guys through it. Hope you guys enjoy the videos, the pictures. Um, so yeah, let's see where it gets us. Here's the tank. It's a 60 gallon electric tank. A little bit thinner wall um, as for the blade, as a, a little bit thinner than a gas tank. But that's what I had available for that day that I grabbed it, so we're gonna make it happen. Um, here's the 650. We'll have it up in the air later on. Um, taking a look underneath, again, videos and pictures to come. So once we got the outer tin all taken off, we were left with the insulation next. It makes one hell of a mess and it's a tedious process, but they come off in pretty big chunks. Then you're left with some on the outer exterior you're gonna have to scrape off. Then you're left with uh, just a metal vessel that's inside of the tin tank. Here's a little view of uh, all the insulation that came off. We welded on some angle iron to keep it solid before we cut it apart. Then we made the big slices. Once it was sliced, this is kind of what it looked like at the end. And then it was a process of starting to build the blade out of what we had cut. Not too long in, we had made some good progress. You can see Rick holding it up here. And then it was uh, break time according to Munkle. After a short break, we started back into it, started welding on the back bracing. That was gonna make the mount and the arms that extended out. Rick had to do some slicing of some big, bigger plates of steel. Got those welded on and we were off and running. Here's a nice little view of kind of the end of the day one results, I think. Yeah, that was the end of day one. So day two of the build. Made some good progress yesterday. Um, got the fire started for the morning, let the shop warm up a bit. Shop's even more of a disaster. Seems to happen with more, with every project that I take on, it gets worse and worse. <laughs> Maybe one day the project will actually be to clean the shop. But so I thought I'd show you guys the progress where we're at. Uh, the plow is made, the blade is made. Um, just like the pictures show leading up to this. So what we did is we cut out the whole side section of a, the hot water tank. You look here, right there, you can kind of, uh, using the camera backwards, it doesn't show it as good. But so, once we cut out the one section, um, the way these tanks are made, the top curvature, it's only on the top. So once you cut it out, the bottom portion doesn't have it. So we had to cut out another portion of the tank, if you can see here. So this section here is the other side. Um, once I cut that out, then I had to weld that on to the other side of the blade. So, I don't know if I'll be able to get this here, but if you look, there's the one side that came with the top right here. Then we had to cut out that side and weld that on so that it holds it from spreading open. Uh, the first plow I made, it would spread open. So I had to bend it back in place and cut another piece off of it. So I learned that off the first plow. So this one's done, um, like I said, where is it? No, so there's the one end coming across, there's the other end. Now, we had to build some bracing in the back side. Um, I don't have a plasma, so I use a grinder for all my cutting. So I had to build my structure 
you know, with pieces that were cut and welded. So we got the bracing going across to hold the structure. Now I'm gonna have to make the arms that come out to the quad, and then from that I'm gonna put some angle irons, you know, to structure it this way, and then some going sideways to the arms as well to hold the structure sideways. And then we got the mounting plate we're gonna have to build. Uh, what we figured out is we're gonna mount through the two front holes that are for uh, come stock to hold the, the skid plates on. I'm gonna drill them out a little bit bigger to get some more meat there, bigger bolts. And then back here, there's actually an open section of the frame where I'm gonna make a plate that's gonna sandwich it, that's gonna squish it together and hold it structured. Then we're gonna have the mounting eyes coming down here, so kind of like a triangle, maybe a little rounded edges, and that's where it's gonna mount. Um, if we were to mount further back, mount further back, the arms would actually end up hitting the bottom of the skid plate. By mounting at the front, I'll be able to get more tilt on my blade. Uh, should help us for going over deeper snow and stuff like that. So, gonna dig in and see where we get, and again, I'll take some pictures and uh, Probably a video at the end. Once we got the mounting plate bent and mounted, it was time to get the mounting eyes made, welded on, finish up the blade parts, structuring it with some bracing, keep it so it doesn't bend. And I think we're looking here at the final product. Not too shabby if I do say so myself for, uh, Backyard Engineering. So thanks for tuning in everybody. This is uh, some older footage that I put together. Thought I'd share it with you all. Just part of the adventures that we create uh, at Dreamland, for Dreamland, and in everyday life really. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>